Greetings and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 2. We got an ourselves another key. And now we can go and explore more rooms full of zombies and lickers and dogs and god knows what. Oh, I missed that one. Uh, the first time I was here. Well, good thing I noticed it now. So, we can go... Oh. Oh, no. Hello? What? Die! I thought that two shots. Two shots were all that was needed, but apparently not. Okay, there's another one somewhere. Hello, mister. Or oh, missus. I'm not actually sure. Oh. Ah, controls. And I'm still on fine. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we can go into this room now, I think. And... Be prepared to run. Mm -hmm. It isn't suspicious at all. Just a room full of... Zombies. Oh no, I'm scared. And now, just run. Yep. They all come to life and there's no point in killing them because it's just gonna take so much ammunition and you are not going to be going back to that room ever again. Not that you really need to go in, in the first place, you can totally ignore it if you want. But, if you go into it, then you can go into this weapon storage room. And get some neat stuff. Some much needed ammunition. And actually I don't think I can pick up everything. Really? I thought there were grenade shots here. Grenade launcher shots here. Oh well. So, this is also a quite neat thing about this game because we here we have two items that you can pick up and if you take these items then you cannot get these items with the other character on the second scenario. You can leave both of, them, both of them here if you want, or you can take both of them right now. But uh, whatever you leave here, the other character can take in their scenario. You need two item spaces to obtain this item, yeah. Well, that's too bad. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna take the side back and leave the machine gun for for Leon. Yes. So now we have ten inventory slots, just in case we ever need that many. And the next place we need to go into is... is somewhere. I don't think there's anything else in this area anymore. Yeah, we have, we have explored everything here, so... Back to the police station, uh, first floor. 
or ground floor, whichever you want to call it. Can we go into this room too? Oh, yes we can. Hello? Anybody here? Nothing in this locker. Okay, so they just have a bunch of empty lockers. Sitting right here. Hello, mister. Do you have pistol ammunition? I guess not. Watchman's diary. Uh, uh, reason to talk to the old man who works in the scrapyard. Yeah. For you, I suppose. Mm. There wasn't anything else except six acid rounds. What? I'm sure this would have been something else. Like a herb? A single green herb, please? No? I didn't want your stuff anyway. C game. Mm, I wonder if we have reached the halfway point of the game yet, because I'm I'm pretty sure that after a certain point in the game enemies get replaced by more nasty enemies. And in this case, I mean liquors. There was another place. Yeah, we can go, go into that place too. And I think that's the last room where we can use the, the club key. So let's go and do that. And if I remember correctly, then we get get an item that we can use in the uh, clock tower that the guy mentioned in his diary. And we get something, something out of it. Perhaps the last serpent stone? Actually, I'm pretty sure it's the last serpent stone. Or the... Uh, the other half of the one that we already have. Uh. So, uh, hello. Yep, that's the thing we need. There's another film here. I think there's three films in total. Film A, B and C. So yeah. I'll take the first aid spray. It's totally messed up. Ah, oh, we need the light there, yeah, of course. And actually I think this one gives us the uh, clue what we need to do. Light the queen, the king and the jack. Then the carrier will start running. Again, it's not a very difficult puzzle. You just need the right items to do it. So we need to run back and get the lighter and then we can actually do that. That puzzle. I totally forgot that we actually needed the lighter. Hmm. A 
and if I actually go in this direction, if we go this way to the safe room, I think we can avoid some some enemies. Perhaps we don't need to kill them at all. Uh, I think, by the way, that corpse over there is alive, so if you walk there, it's going to attack you. If you have wondered why I haven't gone there and tried to get some pistol ammunition from him. Up the stairs. Hmm. I wonder if there's any enemies here. Other than the crows, I mean. Nope. And nothing in this room either. So we don't need that right now, we don't need that, I can combine those, so do that, do, let's do that, do that, I mean I have so many inventory, inventory slots I might, might as well carry that around and Lighter. Do we need anything else? Crank. We might need the crank. Possibly. I'm actually going to take it with me. Just in case. And use that one. And again, I'm going to, going to go this way because I think there's leakers now in the uh, in the second floor. And that what is it? A walkway? Is it just a walkway, or what would you call it? Well, anyway, that thing with the ladder and, and stuff. And I also think that if... Well, actually I left that one zombie alive, so he isn't properly there anymore. Or oh, it's just the zombie and they haven't yet been replaced by Likens. I'm not entirely sure. At some point, uh, some of the enemies are going to be replaced. That much I'm sure of. So we go back here and we get the wheel or cog or whatever it is. Then we go up, we get the last piece of the serpent stone and then we can go and place all of those uh, where they need to go. No, oh, not that one, that one. So it was Queen and King and Jack, I believe. So yeah, we get the G Gog wheel. G. Great. Check. It's a gold plate. It looks like a large clock. Gog. Okay. And now the safest way to go upstairs is probably if we go into the great hall and then we go up the ladder and hope we can avoid the one Lickethat there's 
probably going to be between us and the place we need to go into. Well, that's at least what I hope. I suppose we could also go... Nah, that's too long. Far easier to go. Ah. Just try. Ah, I just hate using the D-pad. It's broken. So yeah, up the ladder and I think we are going to have to dodge one. One licker. Oh, it's right there. And I'm not going to bother killing him. So now we are back here. Hello? Hello? Oh, okay, so... I think if we had uh, used the cord in that corridor, then the zombies would have appeared from the other place. So. That's okay. I mean, we are not probably going to be using either of those uh, hallways anymore. So, who cares? Okay. Let's see if I can dodge him. Well, I only get hit once. I got that a win. <coughs> mm, is it here? It won't work. Where do I... Oh yeah, we need the crank right here. And that used the crank, so we don't even need to worry about that anymore. And I believe we place the cogwheel right here. Will you push it? Yes. So now we have all the seven stones. And well, I suppose I should go and develop that film. And then we can go and place the seven stones where we need to. Missed, you fool. Nineteen minutes. Okay, so I'm just going to go down to the dark room and develop the film, and then, then in the next episode we can go and use the serpent stones to do whatever we need to do with them. Oh well. I guess that's fine. There's no more 
monsters here. So, let's go here and use the film and we'll see something cool. Film B. Front of the unrest red tailor. Request in the zombie within two hours. Subject repeatedly complained about severe agitation of the epidermis. Epidermis in addition to feeling of nausea. This ha happened up to the moment he lost consciousness. Picked up by Air Lambert. Okay. So. I'm going to do some inventory management of camera and run. Run to the place where we need to use the seven stones and we'll pick up from there. So, I hope to see you there.